Okay, let's move on to something else. Now, education, obviously, uh, in your district, great uh, diversity uh, because of test scores, fiscal issues, we need state funding, things of that nature. How do you plan to shore up more funding and programs to provide a higher level of education? We'll begin with you, Mr. Barrett. Well, the fundamental responsibility you have 25 for 25 seconds. Go on. For the fundamental responsibility for education lies with the state, not even the federal government. It's always been state aid. And when I was in the legislature, I did as much as I could to drive as much state aid to Nassau and Suffolk County school districts as possible. But the problem you run into is that many of the districts, West Islip, Bayshore, Brentwood, they're high tax, they call high tax, low wealth districts. Their combined ratio on property value and income is always not low enough to get a lot of money, all right? So supplemental high tax aid is something they really depend upon. The more state aid you have, the more pressure I can apply to assembly persons and senators to get more of those dollars, that helps those school districts. And at the same time, it helps them with their budgets so they can stabilize what they're going to charge us locally in the property tax. But they've always had serious challenges. And right now, the money is kind of geared to one area. Okay, right, thank you, Mr. Barrago. Uh, Mr. Alcas, your response here? Education uh, is very important to me. Um, it's what I thrive on with my children and I do in the community. I attend every school board meeting and I do believe education is the key to a great life. If you do not become educated properly, you have a, a tough time. Myself, I did not go to college. I wish I would have. If I could turn the clock back, I would do several things different. But one problem we have in this county with our school districts is, as Tom said, not enough funding. We do not have enough funding. From what I understand, we send $5 billion up to the state, and we only get $3 billion back. In fact, what we need to do is work with the state to get more of our funds back so we can lower our taxes. Okay, thank you very much, both of you. We're going to go to uh, closing statements right now. We begin with you, Mr. Alcas. Thank you. Voting for Jim Alcas is a vote for the community. I will represent our district and do as a legislator as I do as a volunteer and a businessman. I am not a politician. I've been knocking on doors and going to community meetings. Everywhere I go, I hear that my opponent does not listen. Once elected, I will focus on promising economic development, creating jobs, and improving our communities. I will work with County Executive Steve Levy to continue cutting spending and county taxes. My opponent has consistently voted against countless important infrastructure projects that would create jobs and stimulate our economy. Tom Barraga voted against women, seniors, and veterans. He voted against the much needed improvements on Bayshore Road. He voted against making safety improvements at our fire training center, against the heroin activity alert center, against the cleanup of toxic and hazardous materials in buildings, and against purchasing additional pump out boats, which are used to keep our bays and waterways clean. My name is Jim Alcas, and I am running because our community needs responsive, common sense leadership that All controls right. taxes and gets people back to work. Thank Vote you, Mr. Alcas. Now, your uh, closing statement, Mr. Barragan. Thank you. I've always believed in honor, commitment, and courage. I learned that many years ago in Guantico, Virginia, with the Marine Corps. And that's the way I run my operation. <coughs> Mr. Alkinus and I not only agree, disagree on some of the issues, but he basically, uh, in his lifestyle, is certainly some, someone I do not admire or respect. And that's obvious from some of the things we pointed out here. That decision in order by the Environmental Conservation Group is, is a matter of record. This guy is a, what I call, regard as a toxic environmental polluter. That's plain and simple. He dumped oil and he dumped pesticide. Let's try to convince people who have cancer in their family that what he did had no effect on that cancer. The hard reality is that I've always been a fiscal conservative. I care a great deal about the people that I represent. I want to make sure they have a good quality of life. When I vote yes on something, it's because the need exists. When I vote no, we cannot afford it, all right? I am asking people to go out and vote November 3rd for Tom Barraga because based on his track record, in terms of his personal life and his business life, you don't want this guy anywhere near any legislature anywhere. Please vote uh, for time, Barriga. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much to both of you, Mr. Barriga and Mr. Alcas. Thank you for joining us here. Just a reminder, Election Day, November 3rd, be sure to get there and uh, vote. Make your vote count.